The huge wildfires in the West. More than a thousand homes are now being evacuated as out of control fires burn in California and in New Mexico. And look at this video of a trapped man spotted by the news chopper from Los Angeles affiliate KABC. ABC's Clayton Sandell tells us what happened next. This morning, the powerhouse fire is earning its name. Massive flames tearing through mountain canyons north of Los Angeles that haven't burned in 30 years. Very rugged. It's hard to get our firefighters in these areas with a thick brush. Nearly 1,000 firefighters are attacking the blaze from the ground and air. And imagine the horror of this man, spotted by a KABC TV helicopter. He's stranded not far from a monstrous wall of fire. But before nightfall, he was rescued. New Mexico is fighting two out of control wildfires near the town of Jemez Springs. Residents forced to evacuate about 50 homes. This is our canyon where we like to come and have fun and fish and it's going up in flames pretty quick. A second fire near Santa Fe is choking the city in a smoky haze. Fires are also burning in Colorado and Oregon. Fires already destroyed thousands of acres and there are two big problems for firefighters. Number one, the winds. And number two, the heat, 100 degree plus temperatures. The flames are also being supercharged by extremely dry trees and terrain. Drought has parched the entire West. Nearly half of New Mexico is suffering the driest conditions you can measure. Drought may also be driving a huge spike in cases of something called valley fever. First, winds kick up tiny fungus spores from dry parched soil. Once airborne, the fungus settles in the lungs. For most, it's like having the flu, but some cases are fatal. They never expected me to come out of the hospital. Firefighters are warning this fire season will be long and dangerous. Coming at a time the Forest Service says it will hire 500 fewer firefighters nationwide this year, thanks to budget cuts. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, near Santa Clarita, California. Your thoughts really go out to the firefighters, too, risking yeah. their lives battling these blazes, especially and, after what we saw in Houston. Yeah, and now dealing with budget cuts on top of all yeah. that. Yeah.